goats. Oh, the sweet freedom, that taste so rare. Tell me, sweet muse, of those who would dare to risk every limb, every hoof for a whiff. A whiff of that fortune the dogs wouldn't give. For years they had struggled, the muse tells me how they wrote their complaints to the Institute Bow Wow. They marched on Parliament, they stormed Wapateria, but still dogs were adamant. These goats are inferior. Look at their hooves, they've only two toes. We'd eat them for supper, such weaklings one knows. Their horns are so curly. It's deeply unnerving. And that god-awful bleat is simply disturbing. Ah, unanimous whiff I hear. Well, hell, eruff about that. But Mildred the goat, she snarled and she spat. She bleated and bleated and started to march on her own at midnight with fire in her heart. Give the goat the vote. Freedom is ours. And suddenly the hillside resounded with Mars. They painted their banners, they polished their hooves, they sharpened their horns, they were on the move. Twenty went to fifty, went a hundred, then more. From forest nook and canyon the crowds began to swarm. Bleat la revolution, echoed the deep cry of twenty thousand goats as they marched through the night. Onward to London, Mildred's voice was heard. Let us give these dogs what they really deserve. As their numbers grew, the twilight bark was heard, which PM Fido clearly misheard. My lord, said the Chancellor, the goats are revolting. <laughs> oh dear Chancellor, <laughs> at last we agree on something. Suddenly, round Parliament swarmed the goatee ranks. The bleating was frenzied, then up rose a plank from the ground to the office of Fido all alone, which Mildred snuck up to take on her foe. He didn't see her coming as she bashed through the door and threw him out the window. Streets splattered with gore as all dogs they could find got a hoof to the heart. And Mildred, the great, became show, president. And so the goats lived and freedom was theirs, finally getting what they believed was their share until an oink was heard, then two, then three. And the pigs decided it was time to be free.